I wanted to read a reading before we get started and we're just coming um, to our mats and centering. Um, and one of the things that, you know, as I've been trying to figure out how do you really cope with all of this change that has happened, like so much has changed in our lives. And on part of it that a lot of us are experiencing is grief. Um, grief of losing the way our lives were and maybe something even better comes out of it but in the meantime we feel a lot of loss um, so there's this um, this is a book on using yoga for for different depression for grief and so there's a poem in here about um, letting go of grief and I think that we can use our yoga practice to and our physical practice to let go of um, of these this trauma that's being stored in our body from this change. Um, so um, if you close your eyes and come to a comfortable seated position, and I'll start with the poem about, about this concept. Um, Go in and in, be the space between two cells, the vast resounding silence in which spirit dwells. Go in and in, and turn away from nothing that you find. So with our practice this evening, we'll go in and in to every cell in our body and see if we can let go of any trauma that we're storing there. So allow your sits bones to anchor to the mat and the crown of your head rising. Let your shoulders soften down. Your hands relax and feel your breath moving in and out. And as we do this, thinking about sending that breath to every cell in your body. And as you exhale, think about releasing from every cell in your body. And knowing that we're in this community practicing together. And kind of just take a moment to be aware of that space of the community of practice that, you know, that Zoom allows us to have. And on your next inhale, you're going to inhale your arms overhead. Let your arms slowly rise overhead. Uh, and exhale, allowing your arms to float down to your sides. And just continue like this, inhaling up and exhaling down. Each exhale, let go, let go from every cell in the body. Now you're going to inhale overhead. And then you're going to exhale to twist to the right. Your right hand coming behind you, left hand across your body. Oh, feel the crown of your head rise. And then inhale to center. And exhale to the left. Uh, go ahead and go back and forth, just how it feels right for you, inhaling to center and exhaling side to side, finding that nice opening in the spine. And then coming back to center, uh, inhaling overhead, exhale, let your arms come down to your sides and you're going to slide your right arm out. Take your left arm overhead, open the left side. 
and then coming back up to center, slide your left arm out, right arm overhead, uh, open the right side. And go ahead and take this back and forth, side to side, enjoy opening the sides of the body. And then come back up to center and you'll begin to circle your spine, circling your spine in a clockwise direction. Nice. You feel the sits bones anchoring the crown of your head rises and we're just moving energy up the main energy channel of the body from the sits bones to the crown of the head. And then reverse your direction. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay. And coming back to center. So we should feel like energy is kind of moving in our body a little bit. We're getting ready to move. Um, take your hands behind you and bring the soles of your feet to the floor and let your knees fall side to side. And kind of let go of, um, well, it might be sunny in Puerto Rico, but here, it's super rainy and super windy. So just letting go of that rainy day feeling. Uh, and then go ahead and bring your knees around behind you and come to tabletop on your hands and your knees. And we're going to start with cat and cow. So you're going to round your spine and cat and then arching into cow. Just go back and forth. And now go ahead and press back into each hip. So you'll press back towards your left hip, come forward, press back towards your right hip, just forward and back. And then come forward over your hands and you're gonna raise your right arm up towards the ceiling, inhaling and then exhale, bring your right arm underneath your left coming down to your right ear. And you can take your left hand around into your right hip crease if you like. You could bring your left foot out to the side if you like. And decide what option you want. And just melt here. Hmm. I'm going to take your left hand towards the top of the mat. Maybe wiggle your left fingers up. And then slide your left hand back in line with your left shoulder and come up to tabletop. Left knee comes back to meet right and raise your left arm up towards the ceiling. Ah, inhaling and then exhale. Left arm comes underneath right, come down to your left ear. You can wrap your right arm back around into your left hip crease if you like. You could bring your right leg out to the side if you like. And just melts for a moment here. Allow your spine to extend long. And coming inside into awareness of connection with your body. You're going to release your right hand, bring it way to the top of the mat, reaching up. And then slide it back to right underneath your right shoulder and come to tabletop again. Uh, now in tabletop, you're gonna raise your right leg behind you and your left arm in front of you. Yes, lengthen, nice, right. Um, left hip right over, left knee, pulling the belly up and in towards the lower back. Hmm. And release back down to the mat. 
And now you're going to raise your left leg behind you and your right arm. Yes, lengthen, contract the belly up towards the back. And releasing down. And we'll just take that breath to movement. So we'll inhale up right leg and left arm. And then exhale, release down. Inhale up left leg and right arm. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Now hold here, bend your right knee and reach around for your right foot with your left hand. You can just bring your um, hand to the small of your back if that feels better. Nice. And then release, lengthen through your spine. You're gonna take your left hand down to the mat and your right foot comes off to the left side of your mat and just gazing back towards your right foot. Very good. So you're gonna swing your right leg forward, bringing your right foot to the top of your mat, to the outside of your right hand, nice. And you can just wiggle it forward to get it there. Beautiful. Uh, let your hips sink in here. Breathe into the hip opening. Breathe into the front of the left thigh. And now go ahead and open up your right arm, reaching for the ceiling. And then let your right arm drop back behind you. If you want to bend your left knee and reach for your left foot, you can. But kind of decide if that feels okay on your knee. Nice. And go ahead and release. Take your hands back to the mat and step back to your tabletop on your hands and your knees and just let your hips fall side to side a little windshield wipering of the hips and come back to center and then you're going to raise your left leg behind you and your right arm in front of you yes nice and bending your left knee reaching back for your left foot with your right hand just open Remembering to breathe, the breath being such a part of our practice. Nice. Release your right hand down to the mat. You're going to take your left foot off to the right side of your mat and gaze back towards your left foot. Yeah, you, your right um, shoulder is reaching for the right hip. And then coming back to center, we're gonna swing this left leg all the way forward to the top of the mat and allow your hips to sink in here. Take a couple breaths here. And as you press into the top of the right foot, your foot behind you, you get a little bit more opening in the right hip flexor. So raise your left arm up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Nice, Sam. Nice, Tracy. Lindsay. Betsy. Let your left arm come back behind you. And if you want to bend your right knee, you can, reaching for your right foot with your left hand. Melting. And release the right foot. Take your left hand to the mat and go ahead and come back for tabletop. And we're gonna curl our toes under. You know, you guys know I love this one. And sitting back onto your heels with your toes curled under. So um, we should have some awareness in the soles of our feet. And and if you've been doing it a while and you're used to it, you can kind of. Um, allow your weight to come down onto the soles of the feet more to get more opening. But for a lot of us, you really feel the soles of your feet. You're going to 
inhale overhead. Although since most of us just wear slippers now, maybe we don't feel our feet as tight. Turning to the right. And then inhale to center. And exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Uh, exhale, go ahead and take your hands forward to the top of the mat and press back for your first down dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Nice. And you can find length in the backs of the legs here. Bend one knee and the other. Yeah, just walk out that rainy day feeling. Okay, bend your knees and your elbows, gaze between your hands, and go ahead and step forward to the top of the mat. Take your hands to opposite elbows here and swing side to side. Let your head release, your neck, your shoulders. And then allow your hands to drop down towards the mat and rounding up through your spine uh, one vertebrae at a time coming up to standing inhale your arms overhead at standing yes nice and then we're going to exhale fold forward inhale lift and lengthen exhale release down you're going to step back for plank Go ahead and lower down for Chaturanga all the way down to the mat. And then you're going to inhale, opening forward. Oh my goodness. So well, let's hold here for a moment. Sam, you can't tell um, Rick or I, we usually we call him Ricardo here, that I'm so sore because he challenged me to do pull-ups and push-ups and this is so, oh, this feels good opening my abs, but I am sore. Press back to down dog. And an inhale. And exhale, melt. And step forward to the top of the mat. Uh, round up through your spine. Oh my God, sun salutations always feel so good. Arms come overhead. Uh, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release down. Step back for plank. Ah, chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Opening your heart forward. Beautiful. Flow back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Pressing into the fingertips as the hips flow back. Relax your spine here. This is a spinal elongation. We're using gravity to bring space between our vertebrae, relieving the compaction of the vertebrae. Go ahead and step forward to the top of the mat. Round up through your spine. Uh, inhale overhead, anchoring through the feet. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into all those cells in your body. Uh, release down. Step back for plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, opening forward. Uh, exhale, flow back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Down dog, take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and step forward to the top of the mat. Rounding up through your spine. Inhale overhead. And exhale, fold forward through heart center. Inhale, long spine like we're a tabletop. Release down. Step back for plank. We're going to lower down to the mat or into chaturanga. Now inhale forward. So if up dog is comfortable for you, hold here for a moment in up dog and press into the tops of your feet until your knees come up off of the mat. And then pulling the core in so the hips raise. The knees come off of the mat as you press into the tops of the feet. Nice. And letting our neck be long. Uh, curl your toes under. Press back to down dog. Beautiful. 
We need those heart openers right now. A rainy days, we need heart openers. Go ahead and step forward to the top of the mat. Round up through your spine. Inhale overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back down. We're going to step back for plank. Lower down for chaturanga. So this is the last Surya Namaskar A, the last sun salutation A. Forward and back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Step forward to the top of the mat. You're going to round up through your spine. Inhale overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back down. Step back with your right leg into warrior one. Inhaling overhead. Nice. Bending into the left knee. Nice. And hips facing forward. Beautiful. Bending. Drop your, drop your shoulders down. Yes. Nice, Tracy. And breathing. So you're going to take your hands forward, reach forward, crown of your head comes forward, arms come behind you, inhale overhead, exhale, reach forward and back, inhale overhead, exhale, reach forward and back. Now inhale overhead and open into warrior two, sinking down, nice. Inhale your arms overhead. And then exhale, bring your hands down to heart center and out. I'm just going to take a couple breaths like this. Inhale overhead. Exhale down and out. Maybe finding a little more near warrior two. And again, inhale overhead. Exhale down and out. You're going to spiral your arms forward to the top of the mat. Step back for plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, open forward. Exhale back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, step forward to the top of the mat. Round up through your spine. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back down. Step back with your left foot into warrior one. Inhaling overhead. Nice. Pause here in warrior one. Hips facing forward. <sighs> Bending into the right knee. Dropping the shoulders. Lengthen the neck. Yes. Breathe. Breathe into every cell. You're going to reach forward. Crown of the head comes forward. Arms come forward. Arms come behind you. Inhale overhead. Exhale. Reach forward and back. Inhale overhead. Exhale forward and back. Now inhale overhead. On your exhale, open into warrior two. Sinking down. Beautiful. Eventually... Looking for a 90 degree angle with your right knee. Dropping the shoulders. Kind of play with, play with the shoulders here. Maybe like roll your shoulders down and back until your palms face up. And then keep that orientation of your shoulders and let your palms face down. Ah, yes, and a long spine from the sits bones up to the crown of the head. Beautiful. You're going to rotate your hands forward to the top of the mat. Step back for plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, opening forward. And exhale back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Raise your right leg up towards the sky in one-legged dog. Uh, and now bend your right knee and gaze underneath your right arm. So nice hip flexor opening here. You're going to inhale. And on your exhale, 
Come forward into plank with your right elbow to the outside of your right, your right, sorry, knee to the outside of your right elbow. Hovering. And inhale, right leg high. So one-legged dog, yes. And now exhale, right knee comes to the outside of your left elbow, hugging the knee up in, nice. And inhale, right leg high. Exhale, release down. And if it's too much, you know, you can always do this on your knees. So in, you could be on your right knee in this side. Inhale, left leg high. Breathing here. Now bend your left knee, gaze underneath your left arm, opening the left hip flexor. And inhale, exhale, left knee to outside of left elbow, hovering here in a plank position with the knee to the outside of the elbow. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee outside of right elbow. Inhale, left leg high. And release the left leg down to meet the right. Bend your knees and your elbows. Step, hop, walk to the top of the mat, however you'd like to get there. And then round up through your spine. Oh, one vertebrae at a time. Nice, Tracy's finally getting warm. Inhale overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Oh, Betsy is too. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release down. Step back with your right leg into warrior one. Inhale, overhead. Uh, exhale, open into warrior two. And reverse warrior. Inhaling. Exhale, side angle. So go ahead and go back and forth between these two poses, your dancing warriors. Reverse warrior to side angle. Come up to warrior two. You're gonna take your hands behind your back, clasp your hands together, roll your shoulders open, and hinge forward to the inside of your left knee. Allowing the left hip to open. Go ahead and come back up into warrior two. You're gonna straighten your left leg. We're preparing for trikonasana. Bring your body weight forward and sink down for triangle. Allowing the back of the left leg to open. So the left leg is straight or coming towards straight. So we try to uh, um, Take the bend out of the left knee if it's comfortable for us. Yes, breathing. And you're going to raise your body up by your right arm. And go ahead and rotate your chest forward, hands coming to the small of your back. And you're going to hinge forward over your left leg. Yes. Uh, now just let your hands drop alongside your left leg, hands on either side, and bend your left knee, step forward into standing split, right leg raises, crown of the head drops, it's just your right leg up, standing on the left leg, and release your right foot down to meet your left. Go ahead and round up through your spine, uh, inhale overhead, exhale, fold forward again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release down. Step back with your left foot into warrior one. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, open into warrior two. Sinking down, find, yes. Reverse warrior, left hand down, left leg, right arm overhead. I open the right side. Send full breaths into the right side, body into the right ribs. And then into side angle, right elbow to right knee, and your left arm comes overhead. Nice. So go ahead and take these into 
Dancing Warriors. Yeah, you can put your own personality in. And also really tuning into like, how does this feel good in your body? Where is it that you need the opening? So where do you maybe want to hold more or move more? And then come up for warrior two and take your hands behind you, clasp your hands together. Nice, roll the shoulders open and then you're gonna hinge forward to the inside of your right knee in ostrich. Yeah, breathing. Feel the anchoring through the soles of the feet, right, grounding us. And then coming back up for warrior two, releasing your arms out, straightening your right leg, bring your body weight forward, and sinking down for trikonasana. Nice, the right leg long, bringing some nice opening into the right hamstring, into the hips. You're going to raise your body up by your left arm. You're going to take your hands to the small of your back and you're going to rotate your chest towards your right foot. So facing the front of your mat and then just fold forward over your right leg and releasing your hands along either side of your right foot. Let your head drop in. Then you'll bend your right knee. You're going to come forward to the top of the mat. Left leg raises in standing split. Crown of the head dropping. And release your left foot down to meet your right. You're going to round up through your spine. One vertebrae at a time. Nice. Inhale overhead. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back down. You're going to step back for plank. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and come down to our knees and then down onto our elbows. So we'll hold this, we'll do this plank position for a minute. Um, so you come up onto your toes. You can come down to your knees as you need to. But this is a great core strengthener. Ah, breathing. Yeah, so holding here. You could bring those, sometimes we bring little movements in. You can dip one hip and the other if you like doing those movements. Kind of just, just observe the sensations in your body here with this position. Oh, yes. Breathing. Coming down to your knees and up as you need to. So 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, go ahead and release down. Bring one hand on top of the other and your forehead to your hands. And then bend your knees and let your feet fall side to side. This should feel like super good. Be like, oh, yes, nice. Just let go. Let the hips soften. Let your belly relax. And then bringing your legs long on the mat behind you. Take your hands right beneath your shoulders. And we're going to come to a low cobra. So you roll your shoulder blades back into your back. 
and then opening through the chest. So there's very little weight in our hands. We're just opening through the heart. And then release down. And we're going to come to locust now. So take your hands behind your back, clasp them together. You're going to raise your legs and raise your chest. Remembering to breathe. And then releasing down. So now we're going to come to bow. So you're bending your knees and just decide what version is right for you, for your back. So if you have any back issues, maybe you just bring your hands to the small of your back and raise your chest slightly. Maybe you have your hands underneath your shoulders and just open through the chest. Or if you want to bring your hands back to your feet and then pressing the feet into the hands to open. And releasing down, take your knees so your knees are mat distance apart and you're going to press back for a wide legged child's pose, letting your body melt here. Ah. Inhale and exhale. Let's take a counted breath here to deepen our breath. So I'm going to count your breath. It'll be a count of four for the inhale and then hold a two and an exhale of four and hold a two. So exhaling, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, we'll do it again. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, and then coming to your normal breath. And maybe just for a few breaths, notice the pause at the end of your inhale and the pause at the end of your exhale. And maybe even our breath, we don't need to rush. So then you're going to come forward onto your elbows and your elbows will be right beneath your shoulders. We're going to come to dolphin, which is really a great one to do because um, it's good for the lungs for during this time of wanting to build our immunity to, um, especially with regards to lung conditions. So curling your toes under, you're going to raise your hips up, walk your toes in, I'm pressing up through your elbows so your shoulders are nice and strong here. Uh, maybe raise your right leg up towards the sky. Bringing your right foot down, raising your left leg up towards the sky. Bring your left foot down. Another couple of breaths here. And then come down to your knees. We're going to come back to child's pose again, but our arms are going to be alongside our body this time because we're going to come to rabbit. Taking a hold of your heels with your hands, and then you curl your chin in towards your chest. Raise your hips up and let your weight fall forward, catching your weight with your hands. So you get a nice opening between your shoulder blades. And releasing down. Go ahead and 
Come back to sit back into hero on your heels. Inhale overhead. Clasp your hands together overhead. Roll your palms to face up. Pressing up with the palms out of the sides of the waist. And release your hands forward. Curl your toes under and come back to Adha Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Nice. Go ahead and walk your feet forward to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Round up through your spine. Inhale overhead. You're going to exhale, sit back into Ukatasana chair pose. Gazing up towards the ceiling. Nice. Maybe coming a little deeper into our chair. Ah, breathe. And release your hands down to the mat. Let your crown of your head drop. Take your hands up behind your back for waterfall. Clasp your hands together. Let them fall forward. Feel your hips right over your heels. And then releasing your hands down to the mat. You're going to sit back with your right foot into a lunge. And you can come down to your knee or stay up on your right toes if you like. Your arms coming overhead. Uh, bring your hands down to heart center. And now allow the crown of your head to reach towards the top of the mat. And then twist towards your left um, thigh, your right elbow come into your left thigh. Nice. But feeling that length of the spine. Beautiful. Pressing back through the right heel and come down to your knee, to your right knee if you need to. That's a great option. You're going to inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, take your hands forward to the top of the mat. Step back for plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, open forward. Exhale back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. Raise your right leg up towards the sky. Bring your right foot forward between your hands. And you can inch that foot forward if you need to. And then coming into your version of your lunge here could be left knee, left toes. Now take your hands to heart center and then be really conscious of the length of your spine, crown of your head reaching forward and then begin to twist towards your knee, left elbow to right knee. Press back through your left heel. Ah, feel the elongation of your spine. You're going to bring your arms overhead, coming back to center. We're going to come to the top of the mat. So hands come forward. Step forward with your left foot to meet your right. Round up through your spine. Uh, inhale overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale back down. Step back with your left foot into a lunge. Inhale overhead. And now we're going to come back into our twist. So you can come down to your left knee. You can stay up on your toes. You come to the same twist, or you can take it deeper if you want, coming up through your left arm, left arm coming across. And mostly this might be for you, Lindsay, like a left arm across onto the outside of your right knee. Nice. Nice, Sam. And go ahead and inhale overhead. Nice. Bring your hands forward. We're going to flow through back to plank or come right back to down dog, lowering down. Inhale forward. Exhale back to Adha Mukha Svanasana. You'll raise your left leg up towards the sky. And now bring your left foot forward between your hands, coming into a lunge again. Inhale overhead. 
Now choose your option again. You could be down on your right knee, um, twisting towards your left knee. You could take it a little deeper, reaching up through your right arm, and then across your body to the outside of the left knee. So twisting towards the left knee. And go ahead and inhale to center. And exhale, you're going to step forward to the top of the mat. Right foot meeting left. Go ahead and round up through your spine. Uh, inhale overhead. Exhale, hands down to heart center. And we're going to do a little bit of balancing. So find um, if you want to be on your, the floor or your mat. Today's a good day to think about... Um, the trees and balancing and how they had to really like balance in the wind today. And I have a huge maple. I was so nervous it was going to come down on the house, but it has been here for a long, long time and it was good. It let a few branches down, but nothing too big. So, um, so we'll be trees uh, and relax into Tadasana. And then shift your weight onto your left foot and raise your right knee. And then bringing your right knee out to the side and wherever it is for you, like honor where, where your practice is at. And yoga is non-competitive. It's all about kind of getting to know ourselves better. And your branches can take, you know, take whatever um, creative branches you would like there's all different ways we can uh, make a tree and release your arms out to your sides and you're going to take your right knee forward and then extend through your right leg in front of you. And now you're going to hinge forward into Virabhadrasana three. I have a wall on my way. I'll show you. Coming into a um, scale position. Hands can be at heart center. They could be out in front of you. They could be out to the side. Reverse. Yes. Nice. Hands at heart center is like a little easier on the lower back. Hands out can be good for the balance. Um, and in front is good for extension. Whichever position you chose, let your hands drop down to the floor. Your right leg is raised and then releasing your right foot down to meet your left and round up through your spine. Uh, roll your shoulders up and down and back. Uh, anchor into the feet. Come back into Dadasana. The front of the body connecting with the back of the body in Tadasana. Like we sometimes only feel one side of our body and we don't feel that connection. So find a spot to fix your gaze on and anchor into your right sole of your foot. And then bringing your left knee up for tray. And find whatever, however your branches blow today in the storm. How you can let go in tree. Maybe you can come inside and know each cell in your body. And then releasing your arms out to your sides. Take your left knee forward. Extend through the left leg. And then you bring your hands to heart center just to start as you hinge forward. And then deciding where you would like your arms to be if you want them to remain at heart center or if you'd like to bring them in front of you or out to the side. 
I'm going to go ahead and release your hands down to the mat. Left leg raises, kind of head drops. Release your left foot down to meet your right. You're going to round up through your spine. Uh, inhale overhead. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, release down. You're going to go ahead and come to a squatting position at the top of your mat and come up onto your toes, open the toes. You're just rolling right up onto the toes. And then, let's see, I have this microphone here. I was gonna go ahead and just roll back um, onto your back at the middle of the mat. And hug your right knee into your chest, bring your left leg long on the mat. Circle your right ankle. And then reverse, bring your left knee into your chest, your right leg long, and circle your left ankle. Go ahead and bring both knees into your chest, hug your knees in and out. And then dropping your feet down to the mat, your knees are bent. Take a deep inhale here. And inhale a little more. Now let this breath out through your mouth. Nice, melting. You're gonna bring your arms overhead behind you, backs of your hands on the floor and your legs overhead so your legs are making footprints on the ceiling allowing the hips to drop down and go ahead and take your hands behind your right um, thigh you're going to let your left leg lower down to the mat hug the right leg in towards the chest you could take a hold of your right big toe with your right hand if you like you could use a strap on your right leg if you want or just the hands behind the calf or the thigh. And then raise your left leg back up to meet the right. You're gonna take your hands behind your left leg now, lower the right leg down to the mat. And again, take whatever position you'd like if you have a strap or you want your left hand on your left big toe or just behind the leg. Breathe into the back of the left leg and allow a softening. You're going to raise your right leg back up to meet your left and bend your knees take the soles of your feet down to the floor bring your right ankle across your left thigh and you're going to raise your left leg up towards the ceiling again this time hugging the left spreading your hands behind the left thigh and hugging both legs in towards your chest to open the right hip so breathe into your right hip And then release the sole of the left foot down to the mat, still keeping this right ankle across the left thigh. And now you're going to let your legs fall to the right, opening your arms in a T or in goalpost arms and gazing to the left. into the outside of the left thigh, um, hip. And bringing your legs back to center 
uncross your legs. Both knees are bent, the soles of the feet on the floor. Take your left ankle across your right thigh and raising your right leg up towards the ceiling, hugging the right leg in towards the chest, opening the left hip. Notice where you're feeling the most sensation in your body, one tiny spot, and send a breath into that spot, and then exhale, allow it to let go. Now you're going to release, bend your right knee, take the sole of your right foot down to the floor, bringing your arms out in a T or go post arms and let your legs fall to the left, gazing to the right. The left leg is heavy. It just gives its weight away to the right leg. And then bringing your legs back to center. Uncross your legs. Let both of your feet anchor on the mat. You're going to take the heels of your hand to your hip creases and press the hip creases down. Like you're, you could bring your spine into traction, the sits bones reaching for your feet. Um, and allow your shoulders to still roll open. So there's a tendency that the shoulders want to roll in here, but still have the chest open because we want to have as much space for breath here as we can. We'll take a couple of deep breaths here. Maybe take your own count to your breath. Maybe you want to do a count of four or maybe you want to increase it, you know, to five or six. Find Find what works to deepen your breath. Then you're going to release your hands and bring your feet up to make footprints on the ceiling for happy baby. Take a hold of your big toes or the outside or inside edges of your feet. Allowing your spine to contact the mat. And you could take any little movements you like here too, any last movements that help to find some opening in your body. And then you'll bring your knees together and slide your legs long on the mat for Savasana. Find any props you might like if you want a blanket or if you want something underneath your knees. This is your time, so yeah, make it what you need it to be. As you come into Savasana, feel where your body is like, on the mat. Feel the contact points of your body with the mat, maybe the backs of your heels, your backs of your legs, your hips back of your right hand, back of your left hand, back of your right shoulder, your left shoulder, back of your head. Allow your eyes to soften spaciousness between the eyebrows. Relaxing your jaw, let your Tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth.
And taking your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. Feel your breath beneath your hands. Allow some small movements in your toes. Um, bringing your right knee into your chest and your left knee and go ahead and take your hands to hug your knees. And then roll to the side of your body in a safe fetal position. Just take a couple of breaths here. Uh, enjoy the relaxation, the openness. Let it sink in to every cell. And you're going to slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Doing that with gentleness. And then as you come to your seated position, drawing your hands together at heart center. May you be happy. May you be healthy, may you be at peace, and may you be free. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight on this Monday night.